Uh, so Nando's Comic Corner is uh, my next segment that I get to talk about right like now. It. So I'm going to, uh, I have uh, uh, two, Very smooth. two books that I'm going to just highlight today that I want to talk about. Um, and since we are in October, uh, there will be a little bit of some horror added into this. Horror. Uh, horror. <laughs> Not the ones uh, you find in the corner want, like Starbucks. The first one I want to talk about is uh, the, 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 the new uh, The Joker book. So it's actually, um, it's really a good Gotham City book that's about uh, a story with, within The Joker, uh, and obviously, and um, James Gordon. So it's a really, it's a different type of story. It's not necessarily a quote unquote Batman story. It's just in the DC universe and in the Batman kind of universe. Um, Batman's involved, but he's not really there. Uh, it has a lot to do with Barbara Gordon. It has a lot to do with um, some of the villains that are that you don't normally see. Uh, it does take place after City of Bane, which spoiler alert, if you haven't read, read that story yet, um, Bane dies. So now they've actually turned uh, Santa Prisca into a like a shrine of Bane. So now people are starting to take up the Bane mantle and things are starting to happen and the court of owls are involved and there's a different thing. So there's a lot of cool things happening in this story to the point where now even Joker is kind of like, Hmm, I don't think I'm the star here. I think I'm being hunted by all these people. So it's almost like, does Gordon have to step in and save the Joker potentially? Hmm. What is it called again? It's called the Joker. Uh, this is one of the variant covers, um, and if you can, by looking at it, you can kind of see maybe where the story starts to go potentially. It's called the Joker. The Joker. Yeah, uh, it's currently on book seven, uh, which this is the variant cover for book seven right here, um, called the Fool. Uh, but it's really cool, and you can, it's really fun to see like everything that happens with it and where it goes. So I've actually really been enjoying this book. Uh, a lot of the new stuff that's been coming out hasn't been super great. Sorry, DC, but the, a lot of the Batman books that have been coming out lately haven't been great. Um, but this Joker book is one of the, the top sellers in, in the comics right now, so it's been doing a really good job. That actually um, sounds pretty interesting. It's really good. I, I really, really enjoy it. Um, if you guys want to wait for it to come out on trade, I would wait for that. But um, you can still go out and get the single issues right now, too. Um, second, cool. the one that I'm going to talk about next is... Um, something that DC Comics is kind of going back to its uh, origin, origins, right? So DC Comics started with uh, a lot of scary horror stuff back in the day. So DC's Black Label, which is more for the adult reader, um, they are doing something called The Nice House on the Lake. Um, this is currently book five, which is the newest issue that just came out um, recently. And it is... A classic story of the end of the world with you and 10 of your friends are in one place, but somebody put you there and you don't remember how you got there or why you're there. And then you start to learn that this might be a bigger picture. And then you might find out why you got picked to be there. And there's a certain reason and purpose you're there. It's a really cool suspense feature. Um, there's a lot of, uh, because it is DC Black Label, there's some gore that is attached to the storyline. Um, there's some language in there, as Captain America would say, language. Uh, but there's some good things that are coming out of this book right now. And, it, you know, for me, um, I'm really Batman heavy in my books and what I read and what I'm into. But it, this was a really different change of pace for me to kind of step outside of it. But uh, I really enjoyed it. And it's really nice. So uh, it's only on issue five. It looks like we're only going to have 10 issues in it. You can, in each one of these is an issue marking. So you can see where it's highlighted oh, right now. Uh. Um, so we're on book five right now. And I'm, once I'm looking at the cover of book one, and it just shows like the girl's the face girl. like this yeah. with all the dead skull and bones. Yeah. So uh, if you take a look at it, you'll, uh, you know, I would love for you to read it. It's a really good book. It's, you know, I actually got a couple of my employees into it now. So they're actually reading it along with me right now. So um it's been really fun i've enjoyed it a lot there is a couple books that are coming up that i want to take a look at when they come out um this year this month in october we have a long halloween kind of like uh part two that's coming out for batman also there's going to be a, a book uh, dc versus vampires coming out and then mm. also um i believe later in the month if not in november dc steel which is um Imagine the DC Trinity in the King Arthur period. 
Oh, I'm looking it up right now. Oh, that, so, that looks cool. Yeah, DC still kind of sounds cool. So imagine the Dark Knight as Batman really in like a, like an armor set. And then imagine Superman landing in like, you know, Camelot and seeing what happens during that time period. Right. Not to be confused with uh, Steel. Uh, Shaquille, Shaquille O'Neal no. Steel. <laughs> no. Dark, Knights, Dark Knights of Steel. Yeah, Dark Knights of Steel. So uh, those are some books that are coming up in the future that uh, hopefully I'll be able to give you a quick little review and synopsis on and then kind of entice you to, to read them too. But uh, right now, those are two books that I'd uh, tell everybody to go take a look at. 